Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. I'm picking up my vlogging camera on this wonderful transitional autumn morning because it is official. Today is the day that we start getting absolutely everything ready for autumn. This has always been a huge part of like me in general, like I'm so affected by the seasons and it's something that I think that we've all discussed on this channel for such a long time. And one thing that keeps me excited and refreshed, renewed, inspired is changing my home and obviously my wardrobe with the seasons. And so today we are starting the autumn prep. I have a meeting tomorrow with Gemma from the Country Flower Company. Um, she's the lady that did my table for our party and she's a local business which makes things really easy for me in order to like plan things and get things executed really well. After I met Gemma at my party for the first time, um, I basically said to her, what I want to do is I want to um, look to create fresh new designs around my home, keeping it cosy but seasonal and beautiful, just so that it always feels like a fresh space. And so she's coming, we're gonna have a meeting on Monday just to basically plan the key areas of my house where we want to focus on. I think obviously like entranceway, kitchen, living room, that kind of thing. I want the pieces that we work on together to be quite like long lasting, ideally. Um, I'm not someone that likes to always replace flowers like every week and obviously it can get a little bit messy. So I'm looking for things that might dry out and still look beautiful, but basically floral, beautiful table displays and things like that. And hopefully I can provide a little bit of inspiration for you guys if you are planning your autumn decor because gone are the days that we only decorate our homes for Christmas. It's absolutely just not the case anymore. We are all such like, I feel like in my community online anyway, we're all such homebodies and we love our homes. We love our first homes, our second homes, our forever homes, whatever they are, we love them. And we take great pride in them. And so it's fun to do this. And I just think it really does give you a sort of sense of giving a home that you already have, that maybe you've had it for years, maybe you've had the same house for decades, just giving it a bit of a fresh feel each season. Now, my style of this kind of thing is quite foraged. I like using natural pieces from like the area where we live, um, branches, twigs, leaves, pine cones, acorns, anything that can be found like around. So we're going for a real kind of foraged theme and that is something generally, unless it grows in a pot, I like it quite foraged. So that's basically um, the theme that we're, we're gonna be working with for autumn and probably Christmas as well. And I'm so excited because I, I don't know whether it's just me, but I feel like over the last 18 months. Maybe we stopped doing the things that brought us little pieces of joy. And this is one of the things I think people will know I really take great, great pride in. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck in and cracking on with a little bit of home re basically. We're actually heading to the garden center today and um, we need to pick up some bits to pot the olive tree in our kitchen. That needs to be repotted. I went to Dalesford yesterday. We basically spent the weekend in the Cotswolds because on the Friday we went to, it's like the after party of um, our friends Ben and Robin's wedding. They're new friends so we've only just like really got to know them and we were so honored to be invited to their after party and we had such a good time it was the most incredible setting if you saw it on my instagram it was at a place called cornwell manor which is from the holiday so you can imagine i was just giddy with excitement and just i just love celebrating love and they're two of the nicest people and we were there with our other friends josie and charlie and it was just such a great time but obviously we were in the Cotswolds, so I, I made a trip to Dalesford as well to pick up some bits, um, which I'll show you. It's all in autumn, like, decor prep. Anyway, I feel like I could talk to you for hours because we have, um, I haven't spoken to you all week. But my outfit today is uh, my Hermes boots, some Primark leggings, which I've had for years and years and years. This is an Amazon gilet, which I could not resist. Ideally, I wanted it in the, it comes in like an oatmeal butterscotch kind of color. It was sold out in my size, so I've set an alert, but this is like the next best thing. It's kind of, it's not, a, it's not like an earthy tone, but this has an almost, it's like an olive toned gilet with tan piping to it. It's quite similar to my Dewberry one, which I also got from Amazon as well, but I only found one of those. And I know that a lot of you went nuts for my Dewberry one. So this is a much more affordable option, 
but I am keen to get my hands on the butterscotch one because I feel like I've got a lot of a lot of green gilets and this one, the butterscotch one is, oh, it's gonna look very nice with some tan accessories. Uh, but that's what I'm wearing today. I'm gonna link all of uh, the pieces that I am wearing and featuring in this video in the description box down below. So that will be nice and exciting. So if you wanted to shop any of those items, you can. I've also toned my own hair which is a new skill that I am having to embrace, but um, it's actually making my life so much easier and um, in just getting this kind of growing out. But hair's getting very, very long. I might need another haircut sometime soon. But anyway, this is my outfit of the day. We're gonna go to the garden center, pick things up and just, it's just gonna be a bit of a cozy Sunday. We may even light the fire later and I think Ali's cooking dinner as well. So yes, I cannot express to you how much getting my home ready for a new season brings me a little moment of luxury. <laughs> if you haven't been on my Instagram recently, I've started a hashtag, which is basically LM luxury moment. And it's whenever you're having one of those moments that makes you feel like you're just, oh, you can use a hashtag. And I just felt like it was such a lovely way to bring our community together in that way. So hopefully, I mean, I know some of you have already been using it, which makes me so, so excited. And I can't wait to see and like partake in some of your luxury moments with you. I'm using it. Feel free to use it on anything that brings you like a moment of joy. And hopefully we can um, start a little bit of a luxury moment trend. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna check on what Ali is doing and we are gonna get heading to the garden center. This little boy is ready to come with us. Are you? Gonna strap you in in the back and um, head to the garden center. I'm going to the garden center for different reasons to Ali. Ali wants to pick up um, some bits for the olive tree, like I said. I like going because we get all of the local produce in the little farm shop there. Um, but I have noticed that in the next village to us, there is another farm shop at the local farm. I think I'm gonna, that's where I want to do, I think it's where I'm gonna be doing riding lessons. But anyway, so I always like having a mooch of the stuff there and they allow dogs, well behaved dogs. So Porty's coming with us. These things are great for keeping water in, in the fridge. I find these one of the most useful things to keep around. He's blowing, he's blowing. Seen another doggo, seen another doggo. That's actually a really good length as well on him. He's got a little collar. Do you like it? You did a little catwalk for us. Doing a little catwalk for us, Bozzy. You want a new bed? Want a new bed? Bozzy, come, let me watch. Come, Bozzy, come. Oh, come. very snazzy. Come. Very snazzy. Oh my god, I think it's so good. Yeah, it works a treat, doesn't it? Yeah, that's perfect. We'll get him that then. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not a harness, but I can get him a harness that goes underneath. Yeah. This is the place that I'm not allowed to go to, the chicken poultry centre, because all I want is my own chickens so much. Thought well, she's very excited. Oh, I want my chickens so badly. back in the car and we've had a bit of a spontaneous idea. We are gonna to head to one of our favorite pubs. You probably have come with us before. We're gonna to head to the plow and have a quick Sunday roast because I think that is what is in order after such a lovely weekend. And we were just on our way back and we thought, why not? Porter will love it. He loves being able to socialize in places now. And he's just, it's so interesting because we used to take him to the garden center with us and we were like, oh my gosh, taking him to the garden center is such a pain in the ass. But his behavior obviously with his age now has just improved so much that he's so well behaved. He's still a bit unsure of um, little people, children, because he's not met many little children because of lockdown and I think kids are the same they've not really met many dogs probably and so yeah he's a bit sort of like oh why is this person so small 
but um, no, he was really, really well behaved and he just stays on his lead by my leg and just has a look around, has a sniff. He got himself a new coat as well and I think his coat matches his dad's new coat as well. So he's a very, very lucky little boy. just finished off at the pub. I am desperate for some lip balm. I last minute decided that I wasn't going to take my handbag with me because we were obviously going to the garden centre and forgot that I don't have any lip balm. But the roast was really, really good and um, Ali had the treacle tart, which I tried. I usually like desserts that are quite cakey um, and so I didn't go for the treacle tart, but the treacle tart was very, very good. And I said, that's probably the best treacle tart I've ever had. And Ali said, that's the second best treacle tart I've ever had. After you, my love. <laughs> Try and tell my joke. Yes. And um, this one was um, very, very well behaved until the food was put on the table. He was, um, yes. Demanding. Demanding because Mr. Millen Gordon, or no, slash Mr. I didn't want a dog, feeds him from the table. So we are back home and ready to light the fire in the living room, but I thought I'd talk you through what we're gonna to do tomorrow. Obviously, there'll be my autumnal wreath that will be here, and then we're gonna discuss what we're gonna do for here. When I was at uh, Dalesford yesterday, there was this really wonderful autumnal display, but it was like super, super easy. They'd literally just gone and cut some stems of blackberry bushes and put them in a vase. Now I can imagine it probably be quite messy in the long run, but whatever it is we'll end up doing here, it will just be quite an autumnal theme. And then again, when it comes to Christmas, we'll do something more Christmassy. Um, I got a load of these diffusers as well, the Dalesford ones. As far as I'm concerned, they are the best diffusers that you can buy. I wish they did bigger ones. They need to do bigger versions um, for big rooms, but this one is the tomato vine, which I find really, really good for every season. It's just such a cozy but natural smell. Then obviously we'd come through to the kitchen. I need to have a huge change up of the dining table, something on the, the island as well. Maybe, maybe a wreath above the cooker, who knows? I'm gonna speak to, to Gemma about it, obviously. You went in with your toy. And then I love the display in the corner and actually I think it works really well for autumn because it's gone quite dry. This was from our, a uh, plum tree in the garden and they did it when we got the room back but we could do something more autumnal um, in here and I hope that obviously it will dry out and look wonderful. Obviously on the table as well and probably on the back here too. And then we have a few things in our bedroom but we're just gonna see basically. It's just adding little autumnal finishes. I've been pinning some bits and, bits and pieces which I'm gonna send over to Gemma tonight but I'm so, so excited for this. For like every season, we just come in, set a day just like we do for Christmas and basically just give the, the house a bit of a, a refresh. But today, but today, but now we are gonna light the very first fire of autumn and um, snuggle and watch a documentary in the lounge with the babies. This one, he's having fun. Don't know where Looney is though. She will no doubt join us very, very soon. Is that nice? Is that nice? You need to get your coat off, my love. <laughs> the most unagile cat. up doing my hair and for day three hair it's not looking too badly I always do this after I wave it I brush it through with the wet brush pro this is my favorite brush I featured it on my Instagram the other day I did like a little sort of mini get ready with me showing some of my favorite products and I showed me brushing my through my hair with this and everyone was like please tell me what you've done with your hair like how have you styled it I have actually been trying out a new styler and I think I mentioned it in a video when we went to Wales and I was like trying to make sure if I loved it I have actually been using it loads now that I've embraced it it's 
it's this. I bought it from Amazon. I bought it off the recommendation of my current colorist. And he was basically like, this has got a bigger barrel. Cause that's the one thing with the, the GHD ones is they don't offer a big barrel. I think this is like a 38 barrel. This is also so cheap. Like it's, it's like, I think it's like 20 to 30 quid. It's so cheap, but I wanted to try it. I did find initially that it was dropping out quite a lot. So I do have it on a hotter setting, but I get into this really weird place where I feel like my hair needs to be ringlets and it's not supposed to be ringlets. It's supposed to be like waves, just, you know, volume waves like this side I've just done. So it needs to drop out a little bit more. But I thought I would tell you what I've tried. I still, I love my GHD ones because their, their clip is so much better. Like the quality of this clip is not as good. The barrel is really good. It's a bit annoying because I often turn it off with this, but on the whole, it is really good. Like I get bigger waves and it's the same kind of thing. The only thing is, is if it had a better clip, it would be so much better or ghd could just do a bigger barrel and a longer one i would really like one of these like really long so 38 barrel longer for longer hair that would be my dream so anyway that was just what i've been using on my hair so if you had been wondering i've been trying it out i've not really tried any new stylers on my hair for such a long time so it was nice to try something different and in the beginning i was like no i'm not convinced nothing can take me away from my ghds but at the moment i am loving a kind of bigger wave and then i picked this up off of amazon as well ages ago and it's just the best brush the best brush so anyway i have not spoken to you for about three days i don't think i don't know whether i'm the only person who gets like this, but sometimes that time of the month for me is like a walk in the park and other times it is honestly, like I feel like I've just come out of a fog. It is so bizarre. Like I have obviously had my collection launch, which has been amazing and so exciting and just, I'm so grateful, honestly so grateful. But at the same time, I was just in this fog not like i wasn't like sad but i was just like my face every day i woke up and my face was like this i was like not sleeping and literally didn't sleep for like three days and today i feel like a new woman obviously because i've now come on but i just i feel like a new woman an actual new woman so i am ready to get back to it and get back on get back in the saddle basically because i just feel like i don't know where i've been since monday it's so so strange. Let me know if I'm not the only person that gets like that because sometimes I'm like, you're so weird, Lydia. But actually I'm probably thinking that it's more normal than it is. Because we never used to talk about that time of the month, did we? And now I feel so comfortable just talking about it. I know some people will say that whatever, that's like a faux pas, but honestly, like I just, we go through so much as women that I'm not about to pretend like it doesn't happen, okay? But anyway, makeup today, I'm feeling very, very nice and glowy, which I have not felt for the last three days. So I'm just embracing that fully. I have switched out to my autumnal nude. So my autumnal nude lipstick is always by Terry, uh, Lady Bear, because it's just a bit deeper. Usually in like summer, I go for a bit more corally, whereas this one is just, it's a bit more subdued. So I've, I've swapped out for that and I've, it's time for the autumnal fragrance. And no, I mean, I'm alternating. Okay, I'm alternating. I still obviously love to within an inch of my being, my air in amber musk. I am just, I'm so proud to be working with them again this year, but it's just that their fragrances are just everything to me, literally everything. But their newest fragrance guys is, oh my goodness, the best fragrance that they have released hands down. And I feel like I always say that, but this one, <gasps> I, I just, I think for me, Amber Musk is like on those days when I'm just like, I know I'm happy, it's my comfort zone, but Cedar Violet, just smell it. That's all I'm gonna, just go and smell it and you and thank me later because it is fresh, but it's still got those amber notes. I'm gonna get my bottle because I've literally been living in it. I mean, of course it's also green, but this is, my autumnal fragrance. I'm sorry how many times I've said autumnal in this video as well, okay? I can't apologize for this, guys, because it's just the norm. Um, but yeah, this fragrance is up there. Look how much I've used already. I just slather myself in it. I love it. Absolute favorite fragrance brand ever. I feel like you always, like, you smell, 
unique in their fragrances. You rarely come across someone that's wearing it unless you're kind of like a Lydia Millen fan. <laughs> um, but they are just so beautiful. Everything about the brand, I just love, absolutely love. Anyway, I am now trying to pick what I'm going to wear today because I have, I'm, I've been basically on a little bit of a mission to find some more autumnal dresses. I didn't want to leave my beautiful summer dresses in summer. I wanted to still have some beautiful dresses to wear in autumn and I wanted more of them. I wanted to flounce around in some really beautiful, rich hues and I've got two to choose from today. I think I know which one I'm going to go for but you guys have to help me decide. Let me know in the comments which one of these dresses is your favorite. I had my meeting um, about the decor in the house. I'm so excited. This for me is just, it's a, a form of like expression. I take such pride in my home and my environment and just one of my favorite things is having people over. We love having our friends here and our families here. And I just always want it to be this magical experience for everyone that comes through the door. And so we have our install date. I'm gonna pop all of my inspo images for our autumnal decor. Very foraged, like I said, I want to make use of what we have surrounding our home so that it's not like wasteful in that respect, but also so that you guys can get out there, be inspired, bring some berries, some dried cones, conkers and things like that into your homes. And it's something that you can create at home. Although, if you don't have those things, in your like vicinity, maybe you live in a city or whatever. I did find these amazing foraged boxes on Amazon and they basically cut, they're like decor things, all natural ingredients, all things that are just naturally occurring here in the UK, but you can basically buy these boxes and use the, 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 the fur cones and bits and pieces like that in there as decor. I thought that that was such a wonderful idea if maybe you don't have access to the countryside or whatever where you are but you're still inspired by it and you still love it anyway that was just something that i discovered on amazon the other day so yeah i'm i'm so excited i'll show you obviously all of the the inspo images but i'm just feeling very very aut autumnal right now i really am and it's still quite warm <laughs> and some people might argue that it's not autumn yet but i'm there okay once we've just had two days of rain i'm in autumn I'm in autumn. <laughs> so these are the two autumnal dresses. So this one is a bit more of like a maxi ankle length dress. I loved, loved, loved this like burnt orange hue. It just felt so rich and so autumnal. And I've seen some of my friends have got this dress as well and they looked so beautiful in this. And so I totally jumped on the bandwagon, but I wanted this richer autumnal shade and I'm already seeing how beautiful it looks with all of these accessories. But I loved this autumnal floral. Look at this, I'm so sorry for how many times I'm saying the A word. I won't say it for the rest of the year, I promise. But this is just a beautiful, like granddad collar, long sleeved, cinched in waist shirt dress with a little bit of flounce to it and beautiful tones. Like it's got a little bit of sage in there and then some really lovely burnt orange, some uh, sort of butterscotchy shades, but then a little bit of blue just to brighten up. I really was just drawn to this. So I think that's what I'm gonna to wear today. I'm gonna to pop it with some tan boots and probably some tan accessories as well, just to <clears throat> it up a little bit. And I'm gonna try both of them on though. So you have to let me know which one's your favorite. So this is the burnt orange, almost kind of, it's an ankle length rather than maxi. I'm not too sure, but such beautiful quality for the price. And it really is, it's got such a full skirt still feels so elegant. It almost is a more affordable take on the sleeper dresses. So if you've seen those sleeper dresses all over Instagram, this is almost identical except for the for the, the frill here. You can wear the sleeves up or down like so. And I always find necklines like this super, super flattering. It comes in literally every color that you could ever dream of. This was my favorite for autumn and being able to wear dresses in autumn you can obviously zhuzh it up with a cardigan or whatever just to, to give yourself some warmth, but I always find that if you've got long sleeves, it's always a much better transitional piece for the autumn months. But the colour, it's the colour for me. Oh, stunning. I haven't even put any shoes on with it because I feel like this dress doesn't even need shoes, but I'm going to style up the other one how I intend on wearing it for the day. So I thought I would show you this dress first here just because... I want to be able to show you my idea in terms of styling it. Obviously I've popped on some riding boots 
Um, but I feel like this is almost like two dresses in one. I just walked downstairs and Carrie was like, oh my gosh, it looks so wonderful on you. It brings out your eyes. I was like, thanks. But you can wear it in this sort of loose, loose way that's just a bit more kind of trapeze. It's got a bit of a high-low back, so it feels like the, the front is slightly shorter. But what it was that I liked is it has this drawstring. So obviously, you can cinch it in, as Lydia does so well. And it just makes it feel a little bit more kind of elegant. So you can go for that more relaxed feel, but you can also go for this more fitted, this fitted silhouette. Obviously, if you want to go full hog, you can pop my favorite styling piece, a waist belt with it. This is actually a new waist belt that I picked up. Um, so I've not tried this on yet, and actually, looks like it's too big. I got the smallest size, how annoying. I'm gonna need to get, actually I've got a hole punch, so that's really frustrating. But obviously you can pop a waist belt with it and it just really kind of transforms it. I feel like you can elevate these pieces so well. But this was my sort of idea for my outfit of today because I'm just at home today and getting ready to go to London tomorrow. So I thought I'd wear something comfortable, but that looks nice, so when I'm filming, it looks nice, but this is so cute. But let me know which one is your favorite. Do you like this dress, or do you like the longer dress? The longer dress for me is like a weekend kind of dress. When I'm milling around the house, in and out of the garden, that kind of thing, that this is so cute. I thought I would show you a couple more pieces that I picked up as well. This cardigan is one of the pieces I was actually like waiting to arrive because it's a really nice lightweight knitted cardigan but quite long line as well so really great for throwing on over the top of dresses because it will be slightly longer than them. I love it with the tan accessories. I wanted a grey mar cardigan that wasn't too heavy, perfect because today it's obviously warm, yesterday it was absolutely freezing. So one that's good for the evenings that have just got a bit of a chill at the moment, something a little bit convenient to just throw on over the top of things if you need an extra layer because that is something that we find very often in the UK. Um, I've got some other boxes and I thought that I could get into those with you as well. I've also got these pieces here. These were some more pieces that I picked up from Amazon. This is like a really cute striped dress with a floral design to it. I'll try that on and um, show you how that looks. This blouse is probably my favorite. It's got big sleeves. It's kind of like a muslin material. It's gonna look so lovely with my jodhpurs and things like that, and just really subtle, but elegant detailing. These pin tucks are just so on trend at the moment, and obviously we love the puff sleeves. This can be worn untucked or tucked in. It would look really good layered under some of my caramillum pieces as well. Um, so I thought that was good. But there's one particular dress. I don't know if it's arrived. So I'm gonna have a rummage in these boxes and anything interesting that comes out of them, I'll show you. I am, however, going to take this cardigan off now because it's very warm. <laughs> Today's not a cardigan day, but at least I have the cardigan for if I need it. It is, however, a beautiful dress day. But this one dress that I found, if, I, if it isn't in here, I'm gonna pop it on screen and I'm gonna link it in the description box down below because it just looks so beautiful. And it's a great autumnal dress as well. Also, whilst we're in here, people were asking about my gold bag display stands. I got these from Amazon as well. So I'll link these down below. They're really good quality actually and they come in white, black, and gold. There may be other colors, but I went for the gold because I just thought it went nicely with a lot of the details on my bags. Right, there we go. Back to normality. What is in this first box? There is also a white dress, which I am really, really excited, of course, because I love white dresses. Aha, I think we are in luck. Not the dress, sadly, but <gasps> jumper dress galore. I wanted some super easy mock roll neck, perfect, absolutely perfect. And I haven't got a jumper dress in this color. So it's got the mock roll neck. I'm gonna try this on and show you it on because this is gonna be perfect with my tan accessories. Great styled with a Louis bag as well, which personally, I just love Louis Vuitton bags. That is a great color. I also got it in black as well because I feel like black is fail safe. Is 50 Shades of Brown 
a film because if it is I am the main character <laughs> this is actually a jumper that would look really nice with black accessories as well I've just teamed it with the tan because I just like showing off how well all my tan accessories go together but I'm so so happy with these jumper dresses I think that these are actually a style first of all this is a color that I don't have this kind of chocolate color um, but these are slightly lighter weight than all of the other ones that I have. So it's great for this time of year when you don't want too many layers underneath, but you can add them later on in the year as well. I think this is a really nice length as well. You can also pop tights, you know, those old things underneath as well. Different colored boots. I've also obviously got my like suede chocolate boots that would look really nice with these. I just think this is great. I also like the bottom of this. I really like it when a jumper dress isn't too tight on the bottom. I like it to look like a little bit of a mini knitted dress. But yeah, over the moon. This comes in so many different colors. So I'll link this in the black as well as the other colors that I love in this. And I love that the black looks just as good with the tan accessories as well. It's so good. Easy to throw on, warm and easy to layer up. Um, it's also got a slight balloon sleeve, just such a staple in an autumn winter wardrobe. You can never go wrong with jumper dresses, in my personal opinion. Not everyone's into them, but I definitely am. This was like a game changer, because this is a bodysuit, thong bodysuit shirt. Because if I'm wearing my jodhpurs from my Karen Millen collection, you can bet it is an absolute pain tucking things in. So I thought that this looked absolutely brilliant as like a little bit of a seamless, plain shirt, but this will be great under skirts as well. Things that you just want something a little bit more streamlined. I thought this was a really great basic for this season because layering is obviously always a thing in autumn, winter, and this is a great layering piece. I always find with um, when you're shopping places where it's a little bit maybe more affordable, you wanna get things out of the packaging and steam them as soon as possible because nothing ever feels good when you just get it straight out of the packaging. And I feel like that's for everything. Like expensive dresses, you just need to get them out, steam them on a hanger or style them up. That is my best advice. I think we have the dress. Comes very tightly packaged. Now this looks nothing when I hold it here, but we're gonna get it on and we're gonna style it up because I think this is gonna be so, so lovely. Okay, so I panicked a little when I pulled this dress out because it wasn't the fabric that I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be kind of like a cotton poplin or something similar. It is a very nice weight and it doesn't need a slip at all. So you can't see through it at all, but it is a different fabric that I thought it was gonna be. However, now that it is styled up, I absolutely love it. I popped it with Valentino Rockstud shoes and this new belt that I picked up because I thought that it just gave it that more luxe edge. It comes with a tie, like a white tie waist that you can do in a bow, which is also really simplistic and elegant. I actually picked up this green, this kind of moss green velvet ribbon. I use this on a lot of gift wrapping, but I thought to add a little bit of something different, I could always do a green bow, just as like a contrast. It's something different, something like not my usual style. I usually go quite simplistic, but this green bow, it just inspires me so much. I use it so much around the house and um, it is so, let me just get the plastic off. That's better. You can see that it's got this really beautiful, like very natural green velvet tone, very similar to the Erin lid. That was why I purchased it because I just thought it was such a beautiful shade. And I thought that maybe a bow of this around the dress would just give it a different vibe. But this belt has worked wonders. So, so perfect with such an affordable dress. And guys, it has pockets, but this looks so basic when you pull it out like it just looks so basic that is the best word that i can use to describe it and then when you style it is when it makes all of the difference i also stocked up i don't know if you remember this from one of my other amazon hauls that these towels ali and i have used these so much they are now our favorite towels because move this big box out of the way they're not white and I wear a lot of fake tan and I'm just ruining really lovely, expensive white company towels. These feel such good quality. They look lovely in the bathroom. It's such a great way to add little touches of green, like I've said before. 
and they're big, big bath sheets. I will only get out of the shower if I have a bath sheet to get into. And so I absolutely love these. These are the ones in kind of the moss green one. When they arrive, they don't look amazing, but trust me, you are going to love these. So I've actually ordered like three more of these, three more sets so that we've always got big, beautiful, fluffy towels to get out of the bath to. Speaking of big, beautiful and fluffy, I also treated myself to four of these. I love white dressing gowns, but I also don't like like the toweling dressing gowns. I like the fleecy ones. I usually have the Soho Home ones, which are incredible. However, they have two major design flaws. They have a hood, which if you're blow drying your hair is an absolute nightmare because it just flops over. And whoever designed them didn't put them with pockets. I'm sorry, but every dressing gown should have pockets. So I went in search for some not expensive dressing gowns, but no hood, with pockets, white, cosy, not too heavy. I went for the medium, so I really sized up. I could have gone for the large, but this is exactly what I'm looking for. Just easy to throw on, not too expensive, but clean so when I'm filming beauty stuff it's going to look nice I'm going to feel nice I'm going to feel cozy and I've got a few of them so they're on rotation because I wear a dressing gown about 100 times every day so I was just kind of going through the house and just acknowledging areas where I was like okay we need new towels my dressing gowns currently are grey and th threadbare so I needed some new dressing gowns and then just a little bit of a fashion haul you know okay I just thought this dress was so cute Oh my goodness, the little striped details with the florals. I just, oh, and look at the sleeves. I was so in love with the sleeves and you can even add like a contrast bow if you wanted to to the collar, just to give it a bit more detail. But it's super, super elegant. I love the way that it's kind of got like a mini skirt vibe to it rather than it being really full skirted. So it just has a really classic silhouette to it. And I just, I'm very, very happy very happy with this but not as happy as I am to see that the dress that I was telling you about has just arrived so we're going to unpackage that and I'll show you that on as well. I feel like it's always the ones that you think you're going to be the most happy with that you end up being a bit like oh I'm not sure because I thought this is going to be a bit more dramatic but now that I'm looking in the viewfinder it definitely is really lovely. I think I could have gone a size up on this because it fits very snug so I would say that this is small, so if you wanted to, to, to get this one, I'd size up. It's also more expensive than the other dresses, so just be aware of that as well. It's not quite such a bargain. Again, I've teamed it with this belt because we're loving this belt at the moment, and this would just make such a lovely work dress. Even just with ankle boots, when it gets colder, I think that this will look so lovely. But yeah, so I might send this back and get a bigger size, but it is so beautiful on. And we're back into this outfit. Um, sadly, the belt is not obviously Amazon. I'll see if I can find a dupe or something similar. Um, this belt is actually from Altazura and I got it from uh, Matches. I did a Matches order and honestly, like, <laughs> don't even ask me how I ended up on there because I never ever shop there. I absolutely hated shopping there, like before. Their e-commerce photos were really rubbish and it just wasn't a nice experience. They still have this weird thing where when you're like viewing the new in pages, it repeats the new in pages. I think it's probably gonna be easier if I shop on the app, but still, anyway, it, was, it wasn't a nice shopping experience. Well, it, it didn't used to be a nice shopping experience, but I feel like they've changed the game a little bit. And I, I don't know whether this is a new thing, but you can now actually change the view so that you can see the items on models rather than, than their e-commerce photos. I don't know if they've always done that, but I just used to log on there and it was a bit of a headache. Saw this belt and I thought, well, I need to stop wearing my Alexander McQueen one so much. And then I found a dress and a top on there as well. I'll show you it in another video, but they had so many nice pieces and so many great brands. I definitely suggest checking out matches if you like luxury pieces as well. For me, I like teaming a very affordable dress with lovely luxury pieces, but then I also really like expensive dresses as well. It's just whatever tickles my fancy. But all of the pieces that I've talked about, um, I'll link in the description box down below as well. I also had to give this particular bad boy, eee, if I can open it, a little shout out as well because I use these all the time. This is actually a gift for someone. I buy these for all of my handbag lover friends. This is a water bottle that's kind of shaped like a hip flask 
and it comes with a pink silicone case. It's not arrived yet. I'm waiting for those to arrive. I've got one for myself as well. And um, I just picked this one up for a friend. I'll show you it. But yeah, you can choose whichever lid you want. You have a black lid or a white lid. And this just slots really nicely into a good sized handbag. They do a smaller version than this. I've got both for depending on what bags I have. I'm using that day, um, but I bought that as a gift for someone because I thought that that was quite handy. And then a gift for me was these. I'm gonna pour one of my Erin Amber Musks into one of these because it's just a better size. And I always used to find, find the little ones that everyone had for ages, like a tra Travelo, Travelo. They just used to always leak. So this is a screw top one. Hopefully this will be better. Um, so I just picked up a couple so I can put some different perfumes in as well. Well, it has been a very busy day. I'm now in dog walking attire. Porty has shot. Is that your first paid for campaign? Did you just do your first influencer campaign? Does this mean you're an official influencer now? Because you were wearing a jumper from the campaign, weren't you? Good boy. So we're just gonna get him ready for a walk and uh, spend the rest of the evening at the house. Ali is having a dentist appointment on a hangover as well. He went last night, I think, to watch the Chelsea game. Is it the Chelsea game? I can't remember, but he went with his friend Neil and his friend Gregoire, and um, he got back at half five in the morning, and it sounds like he thoroughly enjoyed himself, which always makes me super happy, because I like that he gets to go and enjoy himself. But yeah, I would not want to be going to the dentist when I have that much of a savage hangover, to be perfectly honest with you, but it is what it is. Tomorrow, which probably won't be in this vlog, I am heading to London for my first, like, it's like my first event with other people in the industry tomorrow. Um, I didn't manage to make it to the Dior tea, the high tea, which I was actually really sad about, and I was supposed to go away with Declay all last week, but... I couldn't because I was at a wedding, I think. And um, there's been a couple of other ones that I just haven't been able to go to. And, and also, I wanna be honest, I've been a bit nervous because I feel a bit nervous. <laughs> Would it be a Lydia vlog if I didn't feel nervous or anxious about something? But actually, tomorrow I've seen the guest list and I am so looking forward to this. It's gonna be absolutely wonderful. And um, it's with Laura Mercier who, weirdly was the last brand that I went on a trip with before COVID hit. So we were in Courcheval at, yes, little pterodactyl. We were in Courcheval as it started to get quite bad. And um, then when we came back, that was it. Lockdown, what a lifetime ago. Anyway, I'm gonna get the boy, strap him up in his harness. He needs a new harness. And I'm gonna take him for a walk because we only have so many of these beautiful sunny evenings left. So I want to make the most of it because when we are out in the rain, he's gonna be livid with me. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to show you that my Rachel Dean, is it Dean? I think so, Rachel Dean Art arrived. I ordered uh, four original pieces of hers. I basically admired her work. She has a little tiny exhibition at Dalesford, but her pieces are massive and they're very, very expensive. I went for these little, these little ones um, and basically she does like botanical uh, ceramic, cement and terracotta reliefs of um, like herbs, plants, wildflower. This is rosemary and obviously I couldn't resist that. And then I also got, this one was really wonderful because this was wildflower. This is a wildflower relief, I think on cement. And I just love the tones. It looks like the, um, the colour drop cloth. So it looks like it's been done in the same colour. It is absolutely stunning. And I just, I just took the plunge. And these were quite, like, these were a bit more of an affordable option than the big ones. And I thought I could do like a story of three or something like that, like one of the white ones. Sorry, this is rosemary and that's time. Ignore me. I bet you were screaming that at the screen then. This is time and this is rosemary. I do know the difference, I promise. And then this one is lavender. So I actually thought that the lavender, the rosemary and the, the thyme were the same, but this one is slightly pinkier. So I think I'm gonna order another one because either I can do a story of like these three, so the wildflower, one of the white ones, or I can just do the white ones, like a story of three somewhere. And then these can just be scattered on shelves, little pieces of art and like, interest i thought would be quite nice all right my love stop crying at the door we're gonna go for a walk now 
Come on, my boy, let's go. I'm actually not quite sure where Lummy is at the moment. She's probably asleep somewhere, but she sleeps in very random places at the moment. But oh my gosh, last night, she doesn't usually come up to the top of the bed. Usually she sleeps down the bottom of the bed, but she was cuddled into my back like a little, a little schnook. I don't know what that is, but she was just cuddled in there and she's just such an angel. She was purring and dribbling and she's just so cute. But anyway, I'll link Rachel Dean's Etsy shop in the description box down below. And I'm gonna stop procrastinating because we're going for a walk. Come on, my boy! This little one has got a new blanket and he was a very good boy on his walk. I have also just had my nails done by Alex and I've gone for something that I have not had before. This is the gel bottle and this is their builder in a bottle in shade Teddy and oh my goodness, this is my favorite by far. <gasps> I can't even show you, there we go. It's like a really beautiful, sheer nude and it just looks so nice and natural i had three coats and a top coat and oh, i'm so happy it just looks so nice and fresh but not like in your face this is definitely my new favorite oh hello i am now very very tired so i'm gonna go to bed because i ended up treating myself to two new bottles of the Neom Magnesium Body Butter, which uh, they had on Amazon, and I ordered two bottles. And seeing as I haven't actually slept very well for the last three nights, I am gonna literally cake it on me and go to bed. And I'm just gonna sleep all night because I'm so looking forward to this. Um, and then I've got an event tomorrow and then we pack up our stuff and we are going on holiday to Norfolk. We're staying apparently, I think is it according to Condé Nast Traveller, in the best Airbnb in uh, Norfolk. So hopefully we'll be able to give you a bit of a tour of that place because it looks very, very beautiful. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.